Okay, I have one answer for you. Two words. Faster horses. Look, I made a video a while ago ranting about how we are modeling houses in 3D and then use enormous amounts of time and energy into translating that into 2D. Why? Just so that we can translate that back into 3D. Very smart. And I have a lots of ideas about subjects we could discuss on this channel and I have no time to record all that. And most of that would only interest me probably, sometimes. But still, a lots of ideas. But I have to put them on hold from time to time and address some of the same subjects again and again. Naval Ravikant says it's better to reread hundreds of the best books until the rest of your life instead of trying to read everything uh, you can get a hold of. Well, maybe there are a couple of subjects worth rediscussing over and over again until we get to the essence of it, like the subject of 2D drawings. Again, why? Because every day we are working in every project we are dealing with, uh, 2D is not helping us. It's just making everyone confused and wasting time. Which is very weird and contradictory because that's the reason why 2D was invented in the first place, to simplify and help us understand. But right here, right now, I'm telling you a different story. And I decided, you know what, I'll make a hundred videos if I need to do renting against 2D. And if you dislike them, that's your right, of course, you can throw your uh, rulers at me. And don't get me wrong, I love 2D drawings. I love their aesthetics and the pure engineering beauty they represent. But once they become a complete waste of time and a source of boring and repetitive work, I say, scrap that sh we all know that quote from Henry Ford who said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Well, I think that any improvements we see in creating 2D drawings is just obtaining faster horses while we have cars sitting in our garage. If you need an example, you know what beam software like Revit and Archicad do? Well, they do two things basically. First, they attach some data to geometry, basically attach an Excel table to every object. And the second thing they do is they create 2D drawings automatically from 3D. Now the first part is much much more important, it's the essence of BIM. But one could argue that in practice the second thing is why 90% of architects actually use BIM software and what they find the most useful. So they don't have to lose all that time drafting, creating sections and plans. But my take on this is we don't need 2D at all. And I know, I know you have your arguments, I have them too. I can play devil's advocate as well and come up with 10 on the spot. But we have worked on some of the largest and most complex objects in the world in the past 15 years and we are working on a couple of them right this moment. And trust me when I say I did not need a single 2D drawing all this time and I would have always preferred a 3D sketch. Yes, you can say 2D is much faster to sketch than 3D. I would say that's wrong. Using today's tools, it does not pay off to lose time on 2D at all. But wait, 2D is used at the construction site. I know, it does not have to be. I will soon show you how we and our collaborators build using only 3D and all of the workers at the construction site can testify how much easier and clearer it is to work with 3D directly, faster as well. And now I know what you probably think, nah, on this project we are doing, it's actually much easier in 2D. Or, yes, Milos, you are working on these geometrically complex objects, but for standard orthogonal architecture, it's much faster to draw and understand everything in 2D. I have one answer for you. Two words. Faster horses. Look, I have this book and I, I love it. Why? Because if you look at it, you can actually understand how freaking details look. Maybe I'm just not intelligent enough. I'll give you that. But the 2D drawings like this, they always annoyed me. And I always wonder what happens five millimeters or 10 millimeters or 50 centimeters after that exact section. Why can't I see behind? Well, in this book, I can. And that is what I want from architecture. The projects today are not the projects from 200 years ago. They're much more complicated. And with the new 3D modeling technologies we have, it's not that 2D is not helping, I would argue it's detrimental to our industry because it costs a lot of time to make and it doesn't return the value of that invested time. I'm a strong believer that this detour we are doing from 3D to 2D and then back to 3D is absolutely not necessary and it will cut enormous amounts of time and money once we stop breeding faster horses and start using 
only cars. Now, don't get me wrong, people ride horses nowadays as well, and that's beautiful. I love those old handmade blueprints. They're a piece of art, but that's where they belong. Art, hobby, draw them and hang them on your wall, put them on your website, I do that. But please, if we are working on a project together, do not send me to the if you can. And trust me, I will always produce 3D for you because what we are trying to do is create 3D. So if I create an exact replica in 3D, a digital twin, by definition, there is no other representation that can be better or closer to it or needed. It can be cooler, prettier, choose your adjective, but not better. And I argue not really needed. Now, are there some things we can still sketch in 2D? Of course, some details can be made in 2D. That's okay. When it comes to the actual freehand design, is it faster to do that and make sketches in 2D? Probably. I'm not talking about the design process. However, when we come to the moment of modeling, creating a digital twin and speeding up the production while having all the necessary information right there in the model, then let us not waste time. So, if we ask our customers what they want, they might say give us better automatically generated 2D drawings. And guess what? That's what we do a lot of times. We automate the shit out of it, but we bite our tongue and do it. That's the market, that's the conservative industry we are in. However, F that. I want to go to the gym, I want to go to the beach. Time is the most precious asset we have, so let us try to save it. And remember, if you get offended for some reason, if I strike the wrong chord with you, none of these videos are really actually for you. That maybe sounds a bit funny, but I mean no offense. Seriously, they, these videos are in a way for me. I'm talking to myself here and trying to debate and convince myself. I'm only doing it publicly because I guess I crave attention. <laughs> but hey, if it's beneficial for some of you, that's great. I guess it wasn't for nothing. Now, 2D is great, really. And we do not need it anymore in our professional day-to-day -day life, period. Stay free. Throw your ruler, rulers, rulers at me, rulers.